Okay, so recently a book came out in Japan called Naruto the Animation Chronicle and from it came a very, very big quote from the creator of Naruto, the original creator of Naruto, Masashi Kishimoto. And what he said in this book, I'm not gonna lie, had me a little bit when I read the line, and it's only a line, there's more to it, but what's been translated right now is a big line. And I kind of got some chills because it seems as though at the very least, I don't know if he's teasing or if he's being legit, but Kishimoto is saying some very big words. Now, we know in the beginning of the Boruto series, it started off with this Kawaki guy saying, I'm going to send you the way of the seventh Hokage, seemingly trying to imply that Naruto is either dead or even potentially sealed away. Then there's been other rumors about Sasuke being dead as well. And it kind of seems to be possible because we see Boruto wearing like Sasuke's cloak, also having his headband. So there's a couple of different things why people are like, holy shit, you know, this is coming off with some big things. And then we even had an interview after that that I made a video about where Kishimoto was once again kind of diving into why he decided to start off with that big bang of seemingly having Naruto and Sasuke die in the beginning of the series, or at the very least, Naruto seemingly being gone. But now we got another quote where it seems as though, I don't know if these are just empty words again, and maybe he's just doing it to hype up Boruto even more, and that's why he's saying things, or there's going to be some serious carnage incoming for the Boruto series but the line he said is as follows I hope the Boruto series can be played around even if it means killing off the old cast in Naruto it can be done so it seems as though Masashi Kishimoto is not going to leave any restraints on the Boruto series if a character needs to be killed if it fulfills the plot if it makes sense then he's going to let it go on top of that because we know he has some of course creative control and he's executive following this he's on top of things that he can suggest things as well so we've seen again this is what the third thing that we've had between the opening of the Boruto series that interview that he gave a while ago and now this line talking about yes the older cast of Naruto can be killed it can be done we're not playing around that really makes me think like yo Kishimoto wants some blood but it's also making me think again there's a possibility it's just him hyping things up you never know I mean I don't know why an author well I know why to make hype you know and get the series even bigger than it is right now but I think that there is a strong possibility if it's not Naruto if it's not Sasuke then some of the Konoha 11 can be killed because let's think about it for a second honestly from my perspective based on what we're seeing in Boruto right now and where things are looking. Obviously, the anime is just in the beginning because I, I, don't, I don't really want to dive into the manga too much because the mangas have, what, two or three original chapters. The remainder of it is either the first couple pages of Kawaki and then the Boruto, Naruto, the movie stuff. So the manga really hasn't had much. I really prefer the anime and I think the anime is doing a good job. But with that being said, honestly, if there's a character right now in my mind, then of course, many years down the road, depending on how Boruto goes, it could change. I think it should be Shino that should die. And why? I'm saying Chino is mainly one of the big reasons is he's Boruto's teacher. He's the teacher of this new generation, so to speak, of this class of, you know, Boruto, Sarada, Shikadai, Chocho, all of the cast of characters that are going to be prevalent and, you know, the main people of the Boruto series. He's the teacher, right? Shino's always been, and we've even seen in some of these episodes, the irrelevant guy. Nobody remembers him. Nobody respects him. What would be more respectful and what would be most memorable than dying to protect the children that you're supposed to be teaching. I think that that would be the most incredible way for Shino to go out and also to really dive more into him finally getting what is rightfully his and that's some respect and some notoriety. I think that would be insane. Now, again, we don't know. Maybe the whole Kage Naruto death thing that was teased in the beginning of Boruto is just BS and Naruto is sealed away or he's thought to be dead, but he's, you know, on life support, so to speak. Likewise with Sasuke. I mean, if there is another character besides Shino that could die and it could be like really impactful and not make that much of a uproar. I mean, it would make a very big uproar, but I think it would still be logical. Would I guess be Sasuke? I think Naruto for obvious reasons because of what he stood for and everything should not die. But again, between the three different instances now, it's starting to make me think like there's a possibility, a strong possibility that Kishimoto doesn't care and he's really going through with this because if he's saying he doesn't want essentially because he was like clarifying, he doesn't want the original Naruto series to kind of hold down what Boruto is capable of, what they're capable of doing. He doesn't want to just, well, I built these characters up. No, if things need to be done to progress the story and make 
make it, you know, larger than life, so to speak, or just in a way that the writer, the guy that he entrusted to kind of do the manga, and of course, Studio Period as well, if they want to go a certain route, he's not going to hold them back and say, nah, this character doesn't die. So I think if it's not going to be the two biggest dogs, Naruto or Sasuke, I think it should be Shino. There's other characters in the Konoha 11 that I would be fine with as well. I think Rock Lee, I don't want to see die. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Rock Lee should be safe. I don't know if he will be, but that's one character that I would not want to see die, especially after what my guy went through and now he's crippled for life, trying to protect him, you know, the upcoming generation and shit like that. I don't want to see Rock Lee die. I think Kiba... Kiba, Kiba could die. Like, really, Kiba's relevance has been waning, and towards the end of the original Naruto series, it was just kind of like, what? And what I'm referring to, you know, the Shippuden era is like, Kiba really didn't have much going for him. So, Kiba, I mean, as of right now, he doesn't have any relevant roles connected to the kids, so it wouldn't make that much sense. But as far as like, if it made sense and you built it up properly, I'd be fine with Kiba biting the big one as well. So, that's another character. I think Ten Ten, assuming that she's Metal Lee's mother, I wouldn't want to see her die. It's a possibility there, but I, I really wouldn't want to see her die. I mean, come on, it's Ten Ten. It's like, uh, it's the same reasoning why she should die in a sense regarding like Kiba and Shino because she's not that relevant. But again, if she is Metal Lee's mother or something like that, I just don't want to see that happen. And then a couple other characters like Sakura, I don't see her dying. Likewise with Hinata, I don't want Hinata to die, all right? I'm just saying that like, you kill off Hinata, I'm gonna be a very, very angry motherfucker. I'm just saying that, but yeah, um, Masashi Kishimoto, y y you're killing me, dog. What are you doing right now? Constantly teasing death in interviews and the opening of the Boruto series. This is really making me excited, and this is like, this is an author being engaging, and I just hope it's not engaging to the point of he's lying or he's just giving false hype. Like, if we don't get at least one death from the old cast of Naruto, not that I'm death hungry and, you know, it needs to have death in order to be a good story or anything like that, but the amount of hype and teasing that we've had regarding characters from OG Naruto dying... Somebody needs to die at this point. If not, Kishimoto is just going to look like the biggest troll because he's been saying it over and over again. Like, And even in this little line right here from this book, somebody can die. There's no restraint. So if there's no restraints, let it happen. Let, let's see what goes down. Again, I think Shino, and if it's not going to be Shino and it's going to be one of the bigger characters, let it be Sasuke. If it's Naruto, I just see that going a very bad direction. I see the fandom going into an uproar. I see it kind of even to a certain degree kind of messing with the legacy of the show and the manga and stuff like that so I don't necessarily know if it would be a good thing for Naruto to die to be honest with you I think it would be more of a negative thing if Sasuke died it's a different story that's Boruto sensei or of course if Shino dies being the teacher it kind of be like a great role of like a Ruka so it makes more sense with those characters but Naruto uh, kind of curious what you guys think about this though for starters what do you think about this next quote we got from Kishimoto saying basically he don't have no restraints and Boruto needs to kill characters from the old cast then they're killing them we're not stopping nobody you think he's bluffing you think he's just giving false hype or he legit doesn't give a shit and he's like yo people gotta die this is what we're doing with this story it's taking it to that level and how do you feel about older cast characters you know from the original Naruto series dying in general you think it's a good thing a bad thing maybe he shouldn't go there maybe he should just leave them alone like if there's a big enough threat, I don't see why somebody shouldn't die. I mean, in the Great Shinobi War, not that that many people died that were relevant, but there were a few deaths, especially Neji. So if he's saying he doesn't care and people need to die, then it's going to happen. Then I don't see people not dying in the Boruto series, especially if this Kawaki guy or any other threat for that matter is actually a true credible foe. Yeah, people, people are going to die. It can't just be the next generation taking on everything and saving the day. Some people got to die. Oh, another one, uh, Guy Sensei. I don't know if I would want him to die at this point. Like, maybe because he survived at the end of the war, him doing it one more time for the next generation. Like, I tried to save, you know, that generation and I helped somewhat. Maybe I can do it for this generation too and going out in a blaze of glory would be insane too. So there's that and your overall thoughts of this again crazy insanity it seems as though whenever Kishimoto talks he doesn't talk that often but whenever he talks and gives an interview he makes sure that it raises eyebrows and raises people's eyes to Woo, this guy is saying a lot of big words. Let's see if he can follow through with it. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fanet World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.